right up there. Is where we stayed last night. So now it's uh, back on the road. And I think we're gonna head over to uh, Mammoth Cave, check it out. Not the cave, but the, uh, just drive through the forest area there and then head over to uh, Cumberland Lake. See, that's where we were last night. Man, what a beautiful area. Alrighty, off to Mammoth Cave we go. Well, we're not going to the cave. We're going to go to the National or the National Park. Alrighty. Well, we've made it to the Mammoth Cave National Park. I have no plan of going in the cave. I've been in it a couple of times, but still would like to drive through and see what there is to see. Again. Yep, we're going to have to do that. I wonder if this guy's gonna get pissed if I just go up the hill and turn around and come back. <laughs> really pretty cool. It just has a cable that goes across. 
on both sides and holds the ferry. And all he does is just has to go back and forth. So there you have it, crossing the Green River on the ferry. open eye are here on the trail and this is the actual spring look at that short synopsis of it is they have no idea where this water comes from they've sent divers in they've put dye in several areas that they thought were supplying the water for this and they know it runs through mammoth cave but other than that they have no clue so that's pretty cool that is a lot of water bubbling out of the ground. It's just a short distance to the Green River. But pretty interesting. Well, now here's something that I've never seen. This allows you to uh, put your kayaks in and also get them out safely, I guess you should say. Isn't that cool? Never seen anything like that. What a great idea. Well, all the campgrounds on Lake Cumberland are closed. Even the Corps of Engineer campgrounds don't open until the middle of March or the 1st of April. So we came to this nice little park here in Burnside. And we're going to use their shelter house to cook dinner. Hamburger steaks macaroni and cheese sounds pretty good i like this little grill well with all the uh, campgrounds closed we decide to come into somerset and stay at the walmart however the uh, manager happened to be standing outside at the Cracker Barrel and I just asked him if it'd be okay if we parked here and he said sure so we've got us a great spot it's adjacent to the Walmart parking lot it's gonna be kind of loud because of all the cars out there on the highway but that never seems to bother open eye so here we are for the night Day two.